Great British filled with British treats and snacks. Hello everyone, welcome to Food Review UK. My name is MJ and today we are reviewing Crate British. This is a new subscription box service for the Britain of British Snacks Kingdom of. And uh, hashtag honestly I have opened this product before so I'm not going in blind. Uh, the purpose of this box is uh, mainly to cater to people who live outside of the UK. It's £16.99 with included worldwide delivery. So you can get a centre anywhere in the world. Uh, I think the key thing to say about this is that the customer service is excellent at well, at well, as well. Uh, a friend at work noticed that they didn't ship to China on their website so she contacted them and they added China like that. So really good service. Like I say this is mainly directed at people outside of the UK because it's quite a small box uh, in, in terms of the value in there if you're a UK customer you'll probably feel the hit a little bit on this one. Um, but let's have a look at what we've got inside this box. I should also mention that I have got a code, a discount code, FRUCK. So if you enter FRUCK at the checkout stage, you'll get 10% off. So, like I say, expats, people that live in other countries and want to experience British foods, this is going to be perfect for them. Uh, whilst we in the UK and, and I guess worldwide have got a number of worldwide or American-based food snack services, there's not many British ones. Uh, so let's see what we've got inside here. So we've got a packet of Walker's Prawn Cocktail Crisps, a classic product. Uh, we have got, I'll open them in a minute, it's I believe some sort of pick and mix. I don't actually know what that is yet though because I haven't opened it. We have got Cadbury Dairy Milk Buttons. Phenomenal. We've got one of my favourite chocolate bars ever. Cadbury Dairy Milk Caramel. I assume I've done a review of that product. I'm not certain now actually. Uh, another, I would say another top 10 chocolate bar product. This is the Aero Mint or Peppermint as they claim. We've got a pack of what I would call the most, um, what's not, not the word, efficient, the most convenient form of drumstick. These are the drumstick squares that are just in a pack, so you've got no stick or anything. We've got a Sherbet Barrett Dip Dab, so as you can see these are all just completely classic British products. We've got Nestle Milky Bar. We have got... Bassett's, I'm sorry, Maynard's Bassett's wine gums, and we have got a Tunnock's tea cake. So, like I say, it's quite a small box, that's why the key market and uh, target audience for this is people living abroad, with that included worldwide shipping. Let's open up the pick and mix, see what we've got inside. Oh, I think, is that barley sugar? I think that's barley sugar. I'm not going to review anything. I'll try the barley sugar, but I'm not going to actually review anything properly in this box because you all have seen that before. Maybe I'll try one or two. You've twisted my arm. Uh, let's go for the what I believe is barley sugar first. Mm -hmm. Barley sugar. If you've never had barley sugar before, very interesting and very different product. Mm. That's interesting. Got a little spot there, but I put a bit of foundation on it to try and cover it up. Hopefully it works. I wouldn't normally do that, but... I'll be able to tell you about why I did that later in the year. Can't tell you yet. Clickbait. Mm. I'm quite a fan of barley sugar actually. It's a very strange product. It's basically like any normal sort of hard boiled sweet. It's kind of got a twang of citrus to it. I'm not going to finish it. Love the colour. Bright orange. It's like got a, it's kind of got a slight sort of cereally vibe to it. But yeah, like I say, it's more of a slight citrus hit without the uh, zesty, fruity sourness. Very interesting, very different flavour. I quite like barley sweets, I give them three stars. I think my dad loves barley sweets actually. Right, I'm literally about to have lunch so I don't really want to eat too much here, but um, I'll try the dairy milk buttons. Because there is an interesting conversation piece that I can say about these. Isn't it weird how things like Cadbury dairy milk buttons, Cadbury dairy milk, Cadbury Twirl, even Cadbury Flake, but especially Cadbury Whisper, all have a different taste. They're all made from the same chocolate, but because of the shape, they have different flavours. Like Twirl absolutely tastes different to Whisper. I'd say Whisper tastes the most different from all of them. 
and it's literally because of the different air and the different shapes in them and I find that fascinating. That is a scientific fact. They do all taste different because of the different air content and the different shapes. It affects how it... That's bloody embarrassing. Never leave a pot unattended. I'm cooking in the other room uh, quite full to the brim so I was worried it was bubbling over. No, it was obviously a toilet flushing. Because I sort of thought, is that a toilet flushing or is the thing, is that literally my pot of food literally completely boiling over? Anyway, ridiculous sidetrack. Yeah, fascinating how different shapes, different effects, I don't know, it might be the way that it melts differently in your mouth or lots of different factors affect it. Anyway, Cadbury Dairy Milk Buttons are one of the best um, sort of, I'd say kid marketed products, but they're so easy to eat. I give them five stars. Anyway guys, like I say, if you've got any expat uh, friends or family or just um, friends and family that used to live in Britain and now live abroad or they just are foreign and they live in other countries and you want them to experience this, you could consider getting it for them as a gift uh, or at least tell them about the, the service. So that is Crate British. Like I say, use code FRUCK to get 10% off. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you're new, please subscribe for more. And if you're old, if you're old, brilliant. I've just said old. Just follow us on Instagram. Maybe listen to our podcast every once in a while, i.e. every single episode, which is every two weeks. See you later, guys. We love